Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you a massive, enormous, gigantic PR haul. Now, I'm not just gonna be rubbing it in y'all's faces like, ooh, look what I got, look what I got, because I have giveaways, plural, okay? Giveaways with an S. So about three or four of you are gonna be able to win some fragrances in today's video. So please stay tuned for that. I just want to jump into this video because I feel like it's going to be hella long because it's a lot of stuff and I'm just excited to share. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other. Okay, so y'all, this first brand that I need to share with you, I have a little story. So about a year and a half ago, one of my subscribers, she sent me three decants of uh tamine fragrances tamine tamine london fragrances and um i forgot it was blue heart um peregrina and something else i don't remember right now but i loved blue heart i felt like peregrina was too masculine so a lot of you guys were like girl blue heart is way more masculine than peregrina so i then got a discovery set of tamine fragrances and when I smelled them, I'm like, oh no, I don't know what my nose was going through that day. I have no idea because I did smell them side by side again from the discovery set and from what she sent me. And it was smelling feminine to me. So I have no idea what was going on. But long story short, I wanted all of them. I wanted literally the whole entire collection. So I'm like, oof. The girl math wasn't mathing. So um, I hit my people up at the fragrance group and I'm like, can y'all try to get to me in London? I feel like it's a dope brand. All the fragrances are amazing, yada, yada. They were like, all right, we're going to try to get it. Cut to <laughs> about a year and a half later. Soavantgarde.com is now carrying Tamine London fragrances. And if you're interested in any Tamine London fragrance or any other fragrances on the website, you can save 30% this week, okay? This week up until the 15th of December. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, okay? You can save 30% off on Tamine fragrances and some other banging fragrances that I'm gonna show y'all in this video. But if you're interested in the Shani or Tiziana Terenzi, you can save 40%. So the 30% off code is Aisha30 and the 40% off code is Aisha40. Mind Games is 10%. <laughs> I will leave that in the description as well. Y'all, I'm so, like, you don't even understand how excited I am. Like, honestly, let's start off with the Tamine fragrances. So my fragrance that I've been wearing maybe for the past three, four days, not every single day, but I've been wearing it a whole lot, is Patalia, Patalia by Tamine London. <sighs> okay, now I'm about to say something and it might ruffle a whole lot of feathers, but it, it must be said, it must be said. This fragrance is likened to Baccarat Rouge 540. And let me tell y'all something. Although I love my Baccarat Rouge, it's a for life fragrance. I mean, I'm always gonna have it. It just, it's something about that fragrance that just has my whole entire heart. I love how it smells. I have memories with it. It's special to me. It was a Valentine's Day gift from Bay. But with all that being said, this right here, Oh no, she's she she better. Yeah, she better. I, I had to say it, y'all. I had to say it. I mean, I can get the slight, oh, ever so slightly Baccarat DNA, like, you know, you you sniff hard enough and it's like, okay, I guess she's like Baccarat's cousin, like three times removed. But y'all, this is so freaking sexy. So some of the notes in here. We have aldehydes, citrus, rose. We have orange blossom, amber, oak moss, and musk. It is so good and it lasts forever on my skin. This fragrance is everything, y'all. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So that's Tamine Patalia. We ain't gonna spend too long of a time. Now, I do have a giveaway. Let's get to the giveaway. 
I have Tameen Blue Heart. Now, the reason why I'm giving this away is because I already have the bottle. <laughs> I already have one, so um, I'm gonna give this one to one of you guys. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you like most about my channel. And make sure you have Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And after, you know, whatever you say, whatever your comment is, leave a blue heart so that I know you want blue heart, okay? So this will be given away. I love blue heart, y'all. It's not a feminine frou-frou la-la type of fragrance. It's definitely more on the unisex side. It has coconut. It has saffron it, it has vanilla it's sexy i love layering with it it lasts forever you can wear it all year round winter spring summer and fall it's a heavier scent like when i say heavy you can overspray. it's not like a dense thick scent but it's heavy in terms of the notes like there's saffron and there's woody notes and you know what i mean but the coconut kind of adds a little creaminess but it's still a unisex scent so please if you've smelled it and you just didn't have the coins to get it and now you want it now can be your time make sure you leave me a comment what do you love most about my channel leave me a blue heart and i'm going to send this to you oh u.s residents only okay guys for all the giveaways for right another now. one of my favorites Whew, this one right here y'all bravi o m g this is like a citrus gourmand Oh y'all listen listen to me when i tell you it is such a beautiful fragrance it is so gorgeous it's bright but still kind of like milky lactonic creamy it's almost a little gourmand it's not too sweet it's sweet but it's not like very sweet like overly like gourmand sweet but it's so yummy and it has citruses it smells so good it reminds me of something but i can't it's not like it reminds me of a fragrance that i have in my collection it reminds me of a place or of a time if that makes any sense i smell this and i'm transported somewhere and i haven't figured it out yet but i'm definitely going to figure it out because every time i smell it i'm like what is this smell that i'm smelling like it's so good so let me see if i can find the notes of bravi bit of orange ginger tuberose saffron and honey walnut milk vanilla and tobacco now let me tell y'all something i'm not a tobacco person in my fragrances like when i hear tobacco i'm not like oh let me run out and smell that because i'm a tobacco fan it's not like that but in this fragrance it's feminine it's not like frou frou la la like super girly pink but it's definitely a feminine scent it leans more feminine in my opinion um, definitely way more feminine than uh, Blue Heart. It's a gorgeous scent. It's different. It's unlike anything I've ever smelled before. Like I said, it's citrus, like orange. So it's like bright in the opening. And then you have that honey, but it's a sweet honey. This is the honey that you're gonna like drink with milk. You know what I mean? To sweeten it up. It's not like a raw, like a bitter kind of honey scent it's a sweet honey and it smells so good y'all this is everything so bravi by tamin so we also have carved oud now this fragrance i will be giving away to bay <laughs> because it's definitely more of a masculine scent in my opinion um i guess if you're a woman and you love like oud scents i love oud like let's not get it twisted but i'm gonna need a little bit of sweetness with my oud this is really good it smells good but it smells like a really good smelling man so yeah this one is definitely going to bay but if you're a man or if you want to gift your significant other something for the holiday i mean you know now's the time to get 30 percent off you can gift them with something like this because it smells amazing let me see if i have the notes for this one i don't think i wrote this one D did i oh yes i did okay so in carved oud we have cardamom cypriol cedar patchouli and oud so there you have it it smells refined it smell it doesn't smell like middle eastern kind of oud it's the the kind of oud that i feel like somebody can overspray and be amongst people in close quarters and they're not gonna be choked out because there's some ouds that if you try to wear them around a bunch of people everybody's gonna be coughing okay and if you're somebody that cares about that then you know 
this will help you because if you're a man and you're gonna overspray, you're not gonna choke anybody out. Another fragrance that I feel like is more on the masculine side is Royal Sapphire. And this is the packaging that this one comes in. Look how it opens here. Really, really pretty. I love this packaging. But when I smelled it, I was like, mm, yeah, no. Yeah, this is, is it? Mm. Hmm. No, this smells like a really good man. No, nah, it's not for me, but it smells really good. It's 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 unisex. I feel like it's unisex leaning masculine, but I can definitely see a woman wearing this. It's not my taste, but I can see a woman wearing this. Let me see if I have the notes for this one. Royal Sapphire. Yes, we have bergamot, mandarin orange, orange blossom, jasmine, amber, moss, and dry wood. Although the notes don't read super like masculine or anything like that, like there's no heavy, well, there's, it says dry wood, but there's not a lot of woody notes and not a lot of masculine aromatic spices, but there's something about this that just smells like a really good man, but it smells really good though. Okay. So the next Tamine fragrance is Peregrina. The one that I was telling you guys I thought was masculine. Y'all, this is the most feminine, beautiful floral fragrance. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was smelling. But um, yeah, this is a feminine scent. Yes, it's pretty. It's so pretty. It's a pretty feminine scent, but it's not like Fufu Lala. And you guys, when I say Fufu Lala, think light pink baby pink juicy couture or mark jacobs like fragrances like that to me are like frou frou la la you know but this is feminine but it still has a presence it still has like a boss vibe to it it is so good hopefully i have the notes to tell y'all Peregrina, we have damask rose gardenia jasmine oak moss musk and tonka such a gorgeous scent it's floral, it has like rose and white florals and a creamy, almost nutty uh, dry down. It smells really, really good. And I feel like this can be worn all year round as well. I can see me wearing this in the winter, spring, summer, and the fall. So that's Peregrina. We have, what is this? Fanfare that comes in this packaging. And we also have uh, Infusion that comes in the same similar packaging these to me lean a little bit more masculine i feel like you know like i said i mean they're all unisex but for me and my taste i'm going past these over to bay because i feel like they'll smell amazing on him so the ones that i love y'all blue hearts uh patalia peregrina bravi oh they're so amazing so if you all watch my channel you know that mona sent me and a bunch of other influencers a super early access to the uh sparkling sparkling lychee fragrance so i have that i'm damn near at half because i love that fragrance and to my surprise she sent out another pr package I was like, what is this? So she sent another PR package of Sparkling Lychee. And this is what it looks like. And she sent it for with her favorite layering combination. So we have another bottle of the Sparkling Lychee. We have Vanilla 28 uh, Travel Spray. And then we have Eden Juicy Apple. So I have another backup of Eden and another backup of the Sparkling Lychee. I love y'all, but uh, uh, I'm keeping this one, okay? Keeping this one for myself. Yes, I am. <laughs> because I am going to need a backup. So that's what that is. But don't worry, because I do have a giveaway. So this giveaway is going to feature Navitus Parfums. So it's a Navitus Discovery Set. Now, unfortunately, guys, these Discovery Sets don't carry any of the influencer collabs. And I know you guys really want those. But um, I told you guys before that if you're interested in smelling any of the in influencer collabs to hit up Greta Beth's website, I'm going to leave it linked in my description box. She has all the fragrances and she'll decant them. She has a professional website. Um, I want to say she ships worldwide. 
just check her out because she definitely ships to other countries other than America. So check her out if you wanna try the influencer fragrances. So to win this set, let me know, hmm, what was my inspiration behind the fragrance Amorous Intense? Give me some details on that and um, leave me a red heart. You all know how much I've been ranting and raving about Cherry Ambition by The Seven Virtues. I have two fragrances. Well, before Cherry Ambition, I had the Vanilla Woods and I had the Lotus Pear. Love them. Cherry Ambition has me literally in a chokehold. It is so sexy. It lasts forever. It's a clean fragrance. Like, I mean, it gets no better. It is such a succulent, juicy, tart. Just, it's so sexy. I just love it so much. Now, the owner and founder, Barb, she actually sent me, y'all, she sent me, okay, I, where do I even start? <laughs> okay, so she sent me her book. So this is um, Barbara Stegman, The Seven Virtues of a Philosopher Queen. So I'm definitely gonna have fun reading this book and it's so beautiful. <sighs> y'all, it, it doesn't stop there. She sent me a scarf, a twilly actually, of Cherry Ambition. This is what it looks like. It looks just like the packaging. So she sent me not one, she sent me two, and I think there's another one in there too. So I have two of these, and then she sent me the ones for the Coconut Sun. This is the Coconut Sun packaging. So these are all scarves, guys. They're silk twillies. Look at this. So you can either wear them around your neck and your hair. Um, she sent the, I think this one is Vanilla Woods, this color right here. How gorgeous, y'all. So I have a few of those. And also for Lotus Pear. How gorgeous. Like, oh, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not worthy. Like, are you freaking kidding me? So, she also sent Coconut Sun, which I didn't own. So I'm definitely going to keep this. And I smelt it. I smelt it in Sephora and I love it. The only reason why I didn't buy this fragrance is because I'm like, I have so many coconut fragrances. I don't need another. But um, for free 99 uh, yeah, <laughs> it smells beautiful. She sent me Santal Vini. I never had this one. I definitely loved how it smelled. And I had it in my cart one Sephora sale and just never got it. But so now I have it. And she also sent me Cherry Ambition. Now... Who wants to win Cherry Ambition? Is anybody out there interested in Cherry Ambition? Santa Claus, okay? Yes, it is Santa Claus. She is coming to town. She is here. So you will win the uh, Cherry Ambition fragrance along with a Cherry Ambition scarf. It is so cute. Now, this person, let's see. Hmm, what's gonna be your question? If you wanna win Cherry Ambition, hmm, tell me what was, this is gonna be so easy. Like this is like, I can't, I can't think of anything. So this is gonna be like the easiest question ever. Tell me my favorite cherry fragrance ever and leave me some cherries behind your comments, okay? If you wanna win Cherry Ambition, I need to know what was my favorite cherry scent and leave me some cherries and Cherry Ambition could be yours. That is like the easiest question, y'all. But so she also sent me this box and in this box, guys, we have, there's a card here. And let me just tuck that back in. And we have the sweet smell of success. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see how cute this box is? So I have another travel spray of Cherry Ambition. You guys know that was the first one that I bought from the Sephora sale uh, last year. Well, no, last the last Sephora sale. Um, I got this before I got the fragrance. And then I have also another fragrance here and another scarf. So I'm just gonna keep this 
like this until I need to open it. But how cute is this, y'all? This is so freaking adorable. I'm so, I, I can't even deal. I mean, Barb, thank you so much. She says she watches my content and she loves my content. Like, that is kind of crazy. Like, I love Cherry Ambition so much. And I'm so happy that I'm able to give one away to you guys along with this scarf because they don't sell this in sephora okay they do not sell this in sephora all right so another fragrance this is kind of the, i don't want to say it's a fail but um i need to play with it a little bit more so this fragrance i was so super excited to get it so avant-garde carried this brand for a while but they didn't carry this fragrance so i asked for this fragrance because i wanted to try this fragrance it took them a while to get it but it's finally here and it's acros bake now if you guys are on social media you've probably seen this fragrance it's been likened to um lira by zerjoff it's been likened to dolce devotion but um y'all i don't i i don't know I, I don't know i don't get that one of my subscribers tanya she said that it was masculine on her and she had to pass it on to her brother i think she she passed it on to her brother um but i don't get masculine from it but what i do get is like let me let me spray it again because initially when i spray i sprayed it a few times because I'm like, what is this giving me? Like, is this giving me lemon pledge? <laughs> because where's the, the cookie? Okay, so when you first spray it, you get a blast of lemon, right? And it smells so good because I love lemon, it, lemon in my fragrances. So I don't mind lemon. I know a lot of women don't like how lemon and citrus smell. I love it. So you get a blast of lemon, right? And it stays there, the lemon stays, but then something, there's something in it that gives like a lemon pledge kind of vibe a little bit in the, like when it starts to dry down, but then in the deep dry down, it starts smelling like a cookie. So the journey that this fragrance takes me on, if any of you guys have Acros Bake, let's talk about it okay because i'm so curious to know if it's just me now it's a brand new fragrance i'm gonna let it sit for a little while because yeah it just needs to settle pro probably and like all the notes just need to mix and mingle well together because right now it's giving me like a super bright lemon in the opening and then like a lemon pledge kind of vibe and then it turns into a cookie So yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. I'm gonna pick her back up in like two weeks. I'm gonna let this fragrance sit. I already sprayed it. So, you know, it's gonna start to oxidize a little bit. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I need to, cause I was very excited about this fragrance. Cause I'm like, oh, it's gonna be like, you know, giving me like Lyra, but more cookie like. Um, So yeah, the jury is still out on this fragrance. I was so happy about this, but like I said, I'm gonna let it sit for about two weeks. And, um, but I love it. The thing is like, I love the opening and I love the deep dry down, but it's, it's that thing that it does before it fully dries down on my skin that I'm not feeling. Like it smells like literally like lemon pledge. Like it's Sunday and it's time to clean. Like, yeah, I'm not sure about this y'all. So let's talk about this if you have this, but, um, if you love the smell, <clears throat> and you smelled it before and you're interested in it, you can save 30% this weekend if it's still in stock because this one is a hot number. I feel like a lot of people love this fragrance. I see it a lot on Instagram. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this one. So that's Acros Bake. All right, y'all. So So Avant Garde got a new company, a new niche company on the scene from Italy called New Notes. <sighs> y'all, I'm not even gonna hold you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six-ish, five and a half from the line that they sent me. They sent me the entire collection that have me all up in, in, in a chokehold. Let go of me. Release me, okay? 
<laughs> y'all when i tell you i'm not even gonna hold you let me just go on ahead and start so the first one this one right here y'all this is called caramello vanilla this is what the bottle looks like the they're 50 ml the right 50 ml the bottles are super cute they're tiny they feel good in your hand yada yada all that good stuff y'all this is vanilla caramel let me tell you the notes hold up hold up because i can't even wait vanilla flower caramel white florals cotton candy <laughs> dulce de leche vanilla berries tonka and musk what in the masterpiece is this what in the where have you been all my life is this y'all it lasts forever on my skin first of all when i got this i wore it to bed that night okay i wore it to bed that night because i was so super excited and then i got up maybe like around 8 8 30 i was still smelling it on myself on my skin okay still smelling it on my skin now this one and another one that i'm about to show you are the only two that i've worn the other ones i have to you know give them a wear test but this one and the second one that i'm going to show you that i wore lasted i want to say 12 plus hours like where they do that at <laughs> like what and did you hear the notes dulce de leche cotton candy caramel vanilla flower vanilla seeds white florals o m g if you're a vanilla lover pause this video and get this now at 30 percent off i'm i can't li listen to me when i tell you if you don't like it please get back to me and we can talk because I don't see how if you're a vanilla lover, like a gourmand vanilla lover, I don't see somebody not loving this. This right here is freaking amazing. Like if I had to create a vanilla fragrance, it would, I would want it to smell like this, period. This right here, like, are you kidding me? If you're a vanilla lover, you will absolutely love this. Now I will say, it's not a beast mode fragrance, okay? It's not like choking me out. Um, it's not built that way. It's not a skin scent or anything like that. It's just, you know, you can overspray and you're not gonna choke. That's what I mean when I say it's not beast mode, okay? Overspray, get your life, you're not gonna choke. People will smell you. I mean, I haven't worried around people other than Bay, <laughs> but he definitely loved it. He was like, it's fire. He gave it so many compliments. Y'all, even if he didn't, like, I already knew I was smelling good because this right here smells amazing, okay? It smells so good. Last long, I was able to overspray it. It didn't do anything in the mid or in the dry down. It was beautiful all throughout. It's slightly a little powdery, like, not really, but it has, it has a little powderiness to it that I pick up with my nose, y'all. Beautiful Gourmand Vanilla Fragrance, Caramello Vanilla y'all this is everything this right here once everybody starts wearing this and buying it it's not going to be able to stay in stock because if you love vanilla like you need this and you can wear it all year round like i'm about to do another vanilla video i did my vanilla video i want to say at the top of the season but i have so many new vanilla fragrances that i want to talk about now and this is one of them that you know i feel like i need to do another vanilla video <laughs> so the other fragrance by this brand that i wore I tested it out is cocktail maracuja and this is what this bottle looks like it's so gorgeous right y'all it's so pretty this one is a passion fruit fragrance let me tell y'all this has passion fruit it has pear it has strawberry there's lemon there's vanilla it is so gorgeous now let me tell you although it has hold up Okay, Bake is, Bake is, she, she talking. She doing a little something. She doing the most right now. Because I'm sitting here talking and Bake is like screaming at me. Okay, I get it. Like you're, you're doing the cookie thing now. And I love the cookie thing. But, you know, you got to figure out that whole lemon pledge cleaner thing. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> so this one right here, although it has passion fruit and it may give you the vibe of like saying 
herba pura not really but you definitely smell the passion fruit so if you smell passion fruit and fragrances like i guess herba pura um dahab by kajal or even like some tiziana terenzi fragrances that have passion fruit this is different because it's more airy and light so new notes the whole concept of this brand is to do you know notes that have been used but in a new and modern way so i feel like a lot of those fruity floral fragrances especially those fruity uh, niche fragrances they have like a dense thickness to them and they all kind of start smelling you know if you have one you really don't need another especially a lot of the tiziana terenzi fragrances that feature passion fruit but this is done so differently and it's like airy but it's not light but it's just not dense and thick you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying so in this fragrance we have passion fruit i forgot black currant there is black currant in here as well pear strawberry lemon jasmine rose cinnamon ginger vanilla lactonic notes musk and patchouli yes you heard all that yes she's a masterpiece too oh oh my goodness Here's the thing. Do y'all know how we was always layering with Blanche Bet because it, Blanche Bet just added that milky lactonic uh, note that a lot of the other fragrances would be nice layered with because I know that's how I do. You know, layer something strawberry or layer something banana with Blanche Bet and just have like a milky kind of experience. You're getting all that in this one fragrance. I feel like was y'all watching me new notes <laughs> so this features that lectonic vibe it's gourmand and fruity like hella fruity all at the same time it is amazing with patchouli in the base to just ground it out so it's not super sweet it's not super cloying and how they did this fragrance is just like it's not thick it's not dense but it's not light and airy you know what i'm saying it's just so freaking beautiful okay to me it can be worn all year round but that's just me um somebody else might smell it and feel like it's you know strictly for the spring or summer but then it's kind of i feel like in the summer it, it may be a little bit too dense for the summer because it's so hot but um yeah i love this now another one that i had to show you the packaging so this is the packaging for this one. This one, y'all, the streets is talking because this is sold out. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this one is sold out. But this one is called... But here's the thing. I'm going to tell y'all. So this one is Latte di Cherry. Now, if you have a lot of cherry fragrances, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. But this is everything, okay? <laughs> so this is the packaging. So this comes up. You know, you lift this off and then here we have the fragrance and it sits in here just like that how cute so you pull it up Lottie D cherry let me spray my other hand y'all because when I tell you I don't want to get too excited because it ain't on the website. So I'm just like dangling it in y'all's faces. Y'all, this is so damn good. Y'all, this is so good. Let me just tell you the notes. Let me tell you the notes in Lati di Cherry. So we have cherry, almond, red berries, sweet orange, spices, jasmine, ylang ylang, uh, rose, Tonka, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, amber, and vetiver. This is a feminine scent. The all the ones that I showed you so far, the cocktail one and the caramello vanilla, to me, those are feminine. This is also a feminine scent. Now, the cherry. This is a different type of cherry. This is a lot of almond, although you do smell the cherry, but you smell almond. So if you love almonds, you will absolutely love this. Although you smell the cherry, but the almond is really the star of the show. Although the bottle is red and it's Lati D Cherry, for me, what I get on my skin is more almond than cherry. I mean, this is this is just a masterpiece. Like, this is a masterpiece, okay? Okay, so the next one that I absolutely love is called Rose Limon. Yes, Rose Limon. Mm, mm, mm. 
oh, this is so pretty oh my goodness y'all oh, this is so good now this one i'm not even gonna lie to y'all my nose is, is a little stuffed up because i can't smell it through here so i'm gonna have to tell y'all the notes <laughs> i can't smell it through there right now because the acro bake is yelling at me and then this cherry fragrance right here is also yelling at me oh my goodness so yeah, I'm gonna have to tell y'all these notes. So in Rosa Limona, we have sweet lemon, mandarin, pink grapefruit, damask rose, jasmine, amber, and sandalwood. All I know is when I opened this, this was actually the first one that I opened, not because of the name. It was just like the first one that was on top of the box. And I smelled it and I was like, OMG like this is freaking amazing it didn't smell like anything i've ever smelled before i can't give you like how long it lasted compliments this that nothing because i haven't worn it yet but y'all it smells amazing so rose limon mm. and it's like a modern take on a rose like you don't have to love rose to love that fragrance it's so good okay so the next one that i absolutely love is queen of the sea i'm just gonna go a little faster y'all and osmanto shock these two are amazing as well queen of the sea i'm not even gonna lie to you when i saw this when i saw the notes i was like what in the aquatic <laughs> what in the fish but that's not what it smells like obviously but when i saw the name i'm like queen of the sea like ooh. But it does have like a beachy kind of aquatic nature to it. And when I say aquatic, I don't mean like juicy. I mean like marine-like. So you definitely have to love aquatic fragrances. But it's really pretty. It's almost like fruity and aquatic at the same time. Definitely suited for the spring, summer. <laughs> I'm trying to smell, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to smell. But after this, I'm going to take a little nose break. <laughs> because I want to smell these. But it's hard because these two are literally fighting with each other. This is why I don't like to do, you know, put fragrance on when I'm shooting a video because yeah, like then my nose starts to act crazy and everything else is taking over. I'm just smelling lemon and cherries right now. So I have three fragrances from the brand that are gonna be passed on to Bay because for me, these are more masculine. So this is like the regular box that it comes in that they come in like if it's not like the cherry fragrance oh i want to show you this one too this one is called musk complexity this bottle this is really really pretty like the scent is real pretty but this bottle is everything i'm gonna show y'all this in a second so in this one we have a uh, new leather it's like a leather fragrance. So if you're a woman and you love leather, cause I smelled it and it didn't smell horrible to me, but it's just, it's just not me. Like I wouldn't wear this, but this is gonna be passed on to Bay. I feel like it's more unisex leaning, more masculine in my opinion. So this one, this is the last one for him. This is Erotica Minimal, right? <laughs> Erotica Minimal is a name. So. This one, let me see. Oh no, you know what? But I can smell the top though, cause I smell it from here. Yeah, this is nice. But it smells like a really good smelling distinguished man. So the last one that I wanna show y'all from this house is this one. And this one is called Musk Complexity. Y'all look at this bottle. Let me see if it's gonna show up on camera. Do you see that iridesc iridescency? Do you see it? You see it, it's like green, it's like purple, it's a little pink, it's a little yellow. It's so pretty. Now, this fragrance right here is gorgeous. It's like your skin, but on a thousand. You know what I mean? Like, it's you, but much, much better. <laughs> like, it's so good. Ooh, I can smell, I can start to smell. Let me spray the box. Yes, it's so good. 
Yeah, it's like, it's musky, it's you, but it's so much better. And it almost smells a little like aldehydic, like there's aldehydes. I don't know the notes, but I'm getting like a musky aldehydic kind of scent. It smells so good. Nothing that I've ever smelled before. And I mean, hello, look at the bottle. It is everything. So the last fragrance that we're going to speak about, because the other things that I was sent were candles. So the last fragrance is by Fragrance Du Bois, and this is Wild Orange. Now, this isn't on SoAvantGarde.com. This is actually, I want to say, a Europe ex exclusive, but this was sent to me by Fragrance Du Bois, by the actual brand. So they sent this to me, and I was like, oh, okay, thank you. But this smells really good. But I mean, I can't link it for y'all, <laughs> but um, I just want to show y'all that they sent it. Um, if you don't mind ordering from like Selfridges, I'm not even sure if it's at Selfridges. If it is, I'll link it. But um, if you don't mind ordering from like directly from Fragrance Du Bois or Selfridges or some European website, then this is really good. It's citrusy. It's like a sweet citrus. And to me on my skin, it dries down a little soapy, which is so different. But it's definitely like an orange scent, but not what you think. Because when it was drying down on me, I was like, okay, it's giving me soapy, like an orange soap type of vibe. But it's really pretty. And um, thank you Fragrance Du Bois for sending me this fragrance. Okay, you guys, so really quickly, I have three candles to show you. Well, two candles and one candle set. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is the one that I'm most excited about. Like, you all need to get this, okay? Like, get this now. But the first candle that I wanna show y'all is by Tiziana Terenzi. It's this big boy right here. Look how large this is, y'all. It looks like the fragrance box. So this candle is called... This is almonds and vanilla, y'all. It smells so good. So good. Let me show you what it looks like. It's sitting in this bed, like similar to the fragrance, but look how large this candle is. Look how big and gigantic this is. It's so pretty. So let me take this out. When you take the top off the lid, this has the wood wicks instead of the wax wicks. So this is what it looks like and it has two of them. I haven't burned it, but it smells amazing. When I smelled it, I was like, why don't they have a fragrance that smells like this? Like we want almond and vanilla fragrance, right? Like I think that would be so amazing. This smells so damn good. Like I'm going to burn this, but I'm going to wait until after the holiday season to burn it just because you know, I have all my candles that are already allotted for the season. <laughs> but um, this is gorgeous. It'll look beautiful on a coffee table. It's super heavy. And the almond and vanilla, y'all, it smells so good. If you're interested in any Tiziana Terenzi candle, you can say 40% from now until the 15th, okay? This smells so good, y'all. They need to make this a fragrance. And look how gorgeous it is. Like I said, it's so beautiful very heavy this will make a really good gift this will make a really really good gift if you have someone in your life that has fragrances and you don't know what to get them and you know they have tiziana terenzi um i think that'll make a really nice gift another candle that i was sent is maison la bougie okay maison la bougie and this is sorbet and this smells really good i already opened it <laughs> But I'm gonna open it again. I didn't burn it or anything like that, obviously. But it smells. Oh, the label, y'all. Okay. Okay. Um. I mean, yeah. Okay. I guess it's stuck on now. It doesn't seem like it's coming off. But just now, y'all saw that. But um, it smells really good. It smells like sorbet, <laughs> like a raspberry sorbet. Really pretty, just one um, wax wick on the on the inside. It smells really good. Another one that'll make a really cute gift, but I feel like the Tiziana Terenzi, that's gonna make a really, really bomb gift. Now, this right here, y'all, y'all need this, okay? Ask no questions. If y'all have the coins, get this. If you're into candles, if you wanna give somebody a really nice, chic gift, this right here, okay, y'all. So this is the Mind Games Limited Edition Luxury Candle Set. Let me show y'all. I hope it doesn't wash out everything. It is so heavy. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. 
it is so heavy so this is what it looks like right but y'all let me show you let me sh it is so much about this like where do i even begin first of all the candles smell amazing like just take oh my goodness y'all y'all this smells so good okay so i done jacked it up Ooh, i done jacked it up because look at this when i tell you this is heavy like this is so super heavy okay so do you see how this is it's all jacked up but y'all look at this look how cute these are so this is f6 this is orange blossom and musk <sighs> I need these people to make these as fragrances because I want to smell like this. This smells so good. This smells so good. So this is orange blossom and musk. And it comes with like, like when you get it, this will be covering. It has like a little lid on it. So this is what it'll actually look like. Something like that. So orange blossom and musk. We have fur and incense which is G7 and it has the like a chess piece on there and the G7 like that means something in chess because I'm going to show you what else is in here that makes this even more fire than it already is this smells good but the that one isn't my favorite but all the rest of them are amazing so cassis and amber and it has like the piece here smells so good we have and just like the fragrances, some of them are black and some of them are white. So we have cherry and sandalwood. I mean, cherry and sandalwood, like need I say more? <laughs> we have cardamom and oud. And this has, you know, another chess piece on there. I don't play chess, y'all. So I'm not, like, I don't really know about <laughs> this stuff. But it looks good, though, child. We have grapefruit and vetiver. Mmm, so good. And these, let me just take all these off, child, because these are all the lids for the candles. So let me show you the rest. So now we have the white one. We have freesia and salt. Smells so good. It's like clean, like a little musky and clean. I wonder what the throw is like. We have white rose and cedar wood. C3. Because they smell so good, like, you know, without being burned. And honestly, like, I wouldn't burn these chestnut and rum. I mean, I'm not going to burn these. I'm going to tell y'all in a real quick second. We have tobacco and tonka. We have jasmine and milk. Ooh! Ooh! Jasmine and milk. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. We have peppermint eucalyptus. Yes. Yes. This smells like a very fancy, rich hotel lobby. Yes. This smells like a hotel lobby somewhere in Dubai. Peppermint eucalyptus. Oh my goodness. This smells freaking amazing. Okay. So you see all them little candles, right? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would somebody come look at this? <laughs> Y'all. So in this, this is what's making the box super heavy. We have the board. But y'all, look at the board. You got you got to see the board. There's four pieces. Do y'all see this? This is metal. I can't hold it down because it's just going to be the reflection of the ring light. But look at this. Do y'all see this? Do y'all hear this? OMG. So it has all the lettering of where you put the candles. So if you have a small coffee table, I feel like you can just do one. Like you don't have to do the, cause there's, there's four of these and you put them together to make one big board. But like I said, if you have a small coffee table, you could just do something like this and burn them at the same time. So this way you're gonna get, like let's say if you wanna burn freesia and salt, with cardamom and oud and cassis and amber let's just say you want to burn all these fragrances right like all these um not fragrances all these candles just to create your own scent 
I mean, mind games, what? Like, this is amazing. Like, this is amazing. Like, I'm so happy they sent this to me. I feel like y'all need to hurry up and get this. Like, grab this. I have a 10% code, so you can save 10% off of them. But, I mean, if you're into candles, if you're into chess, if you're into just buying somebody a nice gift, this is it right here. The candles smell amazing. The board is amazing. The fact that you can burn like two at a time. If you want to do like a, let me see, like a cherry and sandalwood mixed with jasmine and milk. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that'll smell really good together. So yeah, y'all get on that because it is a limited edition. I'm going to link it and I have a code for this so you can save 10%, all right? So if you want to participate in the giveaway, I don't even remember what I said. So just skim forward back to this video <laughs> to find out the details on the fragrances. So it would be a Cherry Ambition with the scarf, also Blue Heart by Tameen and it's back here somewhere, child. A Navitus Discovery Set, okay? So if you wanna win that, just go back to what I said in the video to enter to win these giveaways, US residents only. Remember guys, to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.